All right, so while the left wing continues pushing their woke, soft on crime agenda, while crime in America's cities, small towns, everywhere, it is spiraling out of control. Take a look at your screen. Yesterday, a New York police officer hit in the back of the head with a bottle. This in broad daylight, as you can see. Over the weekend, a young woman was brutally attacked by a mob in Chicago. But despite the surging crime, the left is doubling down on the idiocy of defund, dismantle, and no bail. Here's Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez. Take a look. We are defunding safety, defunding our public schools, defunding our public pools, defunding our parks, defunding our libraries, when we are taking all of those resources and demanding that every single department except the militarized one be cut. All right, here with Reaction, former New York City mayoral candidate. He's the head of the very important Guardian Angels, Curtis Sliwa, is with us. And from the Epic Times, their host, Larry Elder, is with us. Curtis, you know New York streets better than anybody. Uh, that's a daily occurrence, and that's not the worst of it. Well, the way you fight it, Sean, is you have to go at AOC and the socialists who hide behind being Democrats. I was just in Astoria where she announced just last week in Queens, the home of Tony Bennett, the Astoria kid, that we are the People's Republic of Astoria. They want to remove the police, remove prisons. So what I've done, Sean, is not just take them on verbally. I'm organizing Ronald Reagan Republican clubs where they're strong and running candidates against their socialist candidates and bringing in moderate Democrats and independents and sharing with them this vision that without public safety, there can be no improvements in the quality of life. And that's how you defeat the socialists, because we need to teach the moderate Democrats to take their party back. Their party has been hijacked hey, by hey, the Curtis, socialists. Can, can you name a moderate Democrat? Because I don't know any. Well, they're hiding now. <laughs> they're in fear. But you know what I'm it takes. I'm just asking if you know you have to be You have to be strong, Sean. And there are good Democrats out there. They have Where to be empowered. They? Yeah, bring uh, them together with Republicans and independents. You'll find more rats in New York because you are the temporary <laughs> rat czar than you will, you know, uh, moderate Democrats. <laughs> you know, Larry, look at what happened, you know, in Compton. You know uh, uh, the Southland really well. You know L.A. really well. Uh, look at what happened there over the weekend. Look at what happened in Chicago over the weekend. Look what's happening in every major city every weekend. Yeah, you're right. And, you know, and the number one responsibility of government, and we shouldn't have to say this, is protect people and property. And all over America, city after city after city, neither is happening. It's a combination of these soft on crime DAs letting a bunch of bad guys out on the streets to terrorize the very people that people on the left claim that they care about. And, 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 and Sean, we have to talk about this, too. Uh, a lot of this crime uh, is being done by black people against other black people. Half of the homicides in this country are by and against black people, even even though blacks are just 13 percent of the population. According to the CDC, a young black man aged 10 to 34 is 13 times more likely to be murdered than a young white man in the same demographic. It is because of the breakdown of the family in the, in the black community, in the Hispanic community, even in the white community. We need to talk about the 10,000-pound uh, elephant in the room, which is a large number of people who are brought into the world without a father in the home. It increases crime. It increases dropouts. It increases poverty. And we're right, not so talking Larry, about how do you how do you solve that if it begins at home? It's the welfare state. Uh, we've incentivized women to marry the government. We've incentivized men to abandon their financial and moral responsibility. We need to tell people to live up to their responsibilities, A and B. When you make it easier for people to, to steal, uh, when you reduce the chance of a bad guy being caught, uh, being convicted, and being incarcerated, guess what? Crime goes up. They may be criminals, but they're not stupid. We have to make sure that people uh, deal with the consequences of their actions. And when you have a bunch of mobs running around and, and a and a Mayor-elect saying, well, this is because of depravity. This is because of they've been deprived. This is because store owners are charging taxes, the taxes that Democrats are imposing. It's just a recipe for anarchy. I'm surprised people are not marching on city halls in Chicago, in New York, in Philadelphia with pitchforks. You know, Curtis, I know you've been on the streets of New York for many, many years. I've been out there with you uh, at weird hours of the night riding the subway with you, um, and we can tell a lot of stories together. But the reality is it's never been this bad. Even New York, prior to Rudy right. Giuliani coming in and saving New York, uh, crime 
was not this bad. Now you see big box stores. Now you see retailers. They're picking up. They're leaving. They can't make money, Curtis. Why should they stay? Right. There's no doubt. And in fact, uh, if you don't get district attorneys who are going to work with law-abiding people to enforce the law, then anarchy prevails. And we have to go into these communities and help candidates who want to take on the socialists. Look, Johnson won in Chicago because Bernie the Altacaca Sanders and AOC All Out Crazy came in there and helped him. Where were the moderates helping the moderate who had won the initial uh, wave in the election, Voss? They were, they were missing in action. We don't work together. And I'm telling you, there are moderate Democrats, independents, and Republicans. Ronald Reagan brought them all together. He would never have become president if not for moderate the Democratic Democrats. Party there, there. is nothing like, during Reagan's time, is nothing like this Democratic Party. Never. Oh, there's not no even doubt. Close. Right. And in my, my mother and father's time and in my grandparents' time, but well, we got to teach the Democrats to fight for their party and kick the socialists out back to the countries which they so praise, like Venezuela, like Nicaragua, like Cuba, like Russia. <laughs> Go back to those countries because the new immigrants that are accepting America have left socialism, have left communism, and they don't come here to relive the horrors of it in America, land of the free, the home of the brave, where democracy prevails and where we love our American flag. All right, Curtis and Larry, thank you both.